A HomeKit smart plug is usually one of the first investments people will make when venturing into the smart home territory. But Miros has stepped it up a level with the smart power strip features four power outlets along with four USB power sources. All of these are exposed to HomeKit. So continue watching this review of the Miros smart power strip to find out if it's worth investing for your HomeKit at home. Hi, welcome back and my name is John and this channel is dedicated to everything HomeKit news reviews and tutorials. So if you're thinking of getting to HomeKit or you're an experienced HomeKit user, then don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button to find out more about this channel. Also check out our social channels at Follow HomeKit on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Also if you think of a question during this review, don't forget to leave it in the comment section below and I will get back to you. And if you're thinking about buying one of these, there's links in the description below that'll take you to Amazon at some competitive prices. The Miros power strip is an all white, long plastic rectangular frame with four power outlets and four USB ports. Each power socket has a green LED to indicate if turned on and one LED for the USB ports. On the right hand side is a power button that is the master switch that controls all power sources. The rear of the device features the HomeKit setup code, along with a four screw slot for mounting it to a wall or other surface. Also features a power cord, which is six feet with the standard UK three prong configuration, but the EU and US versions will have the relevant configurations for that country. The power strip connects to home networks via Wi-Fi 2.4 gigahertz without an additional hub required to use it with HomeKit. Overall, I like the build quality. I think it feels really nice. It also is pretty sturdy. So overall, I'm impressed with that side of things. To get started, I plugged the Miros power strip into a power socket. Then I opened the OMAP, tap add accessory, and this will present you with a familiar HomeKit setup screen that lets you scan the code. The HomeKit setup process will take you through adding it to a room, name the device, and other setup steps. Once set up, the power strip will be available in the OMAP and available to set up in automation scenes and also control with Siri voice. Now, while Miros does have an app that is available via the App Store, I did use this with the OMAP exclusively for this review. However, I would recommend downloading the Miros app, update the firmware as and when required, as this may bring important updates. And I certainly use the Miros app for that reason. So now it's all set up. What is it actually like to use the power strip? The smart power strip features four USB power sockets and four USB sockets, which can be controlled via a single button that glows green when the sockets are on. While I do welcome the ability with any smart plug or power strip that can be turned on and off in the traditional way, it would be nice for the device to feature individual buttons to control each power socket and the USB ports. But this seems to be a theme with Miros products, which I personally think helps to keep the cost down of these products. And I think if you balance the cost versus adding additional buttons, then I think it's reasonable to expect that only one button comes Comes with it. In terms of connectivity and placement around my home, I've added in variety of different places around different locations far away from the router and I've had no issues during the review. I didn't come across any Wi-Fi signal strength issues and it didn't go unresponsive within the OMAP. Requests made to the smart plug either via the OMAP or Siri have been actioned within seconds. And despite these differences between the distance between the plug and the router, I've yet to come across a single instance of no response within the OMAP. Now, speaking of the OMAP and HomeKit control, operating the smart power strip at the basic level involves tapping the tile, which brings up all five controls with four of them being the power outlets and the USB ports all collected as one. Here you can control each outlet independently along with the four USB ports, but you can also split the tiles out by going to settings and tapping show as separate tiles. It will then present you the four separate sockets and one USB control tile that you can control separately. You can also rename each power point to a name that would match the appliance you are using. So for instance, I used it with my bedroom light as part of my testing, then you could name it bedroom lamp. So this makes it a lot easier to identify sockets that have been occupied by certain appliances. But because Miros has exposed the four USB ports to HomeKit as one power source, then you're only able to rename all four. One benefit of using the Miros power strip with HomeKit means you can include the smart plug in scenes, automations or triggers. So for example, I had the 
power strip connected to a bedroom light. I then included the light smart strip in my morning and good night automation to turn on the lights when this was activated. Finally, I also used it with Siri voice control and I had no issues using it. You can say for instance, hey, turn on the bedroom light and it will turn on within a few seconds. So overall, I've been pretty impressed with the HomeKit support for the Miros power strip, but it would have been good if the four USB ports had been exposed individually. However, I suspect that's because it's on the same circuit within the actual power strip. So they've exposed it as one and this would be another reason to keep costs down. So to wrap up my review and give you my conclusion, the Miro Smart Power Strip worked well during my review period. During my testing, I found it to be reliable and the Wi-Fi range worked really well. Didn't come across any issues with having no response due to it losing signal or any of those issues. It's also really easy to set up and it just works. You also can use it with the Miro app if you choose to do so, but you don't get any extra benefit if you're gonna be using it with HomeKit anyway other than doing a software update. HomeKit integration works really well with the Home app and being able to use this in automations is a significant benefit, especially if you individually name those controls to give you a lot more flexibility. Using Siri on either my Apple Watch or iPhone to control the plug has been really handy and something that I will certainly continue to use going forward. But as mentioned, I have some minor complaints with the power strip. The first being that it's only as one dedicated button to control all four power sources and the USB sockets. And it would have been good if they'd included individual sockets to turn them off manually, especially as I'm using this in the bedroom and I have various different devices plugged in. It also would have been great if all four USBs were exposed to HomeKit as separate outlets. However, again, I think this is to keep the cost down of this plug. The bottom line, Miros has done a superb job with delivering a HomeKit smart plug that is a power strip at a competitive price. The device has worked well during my testing and I will continue to use it in my bedroom as I've been doing my review. The Miros smart power strip is available for $41.99 in the UK 49.99 in the US and 49 euros in the EU via Amazon. There is some links in the description below if you want to buy one of these from Amazon and it will take you straight there. So that's a wrap on the Miro Smart Power Strip review. Hopefully you found it useful. If you've got any questions or a comment, leave it in the comment section below. And also don't forget to subscribe for more HomeKit and Smart Home reviews. If you have liked this video, give me a thumbs up. And also don't forget to check out our social channels at Follow HomeKit and our website, homekitauthority.com. Thank you very much. I'll speak to you soon.